hey this is your mama money moves and right now we're going to do our weekly check-in i'm going to try my best to make this quick and not do that much talking because guess what it's like one in the morning <laughs> so anyway let's go ahead and um get started so uh for this week right here um well what really this is i think i'm like a week behind yeah i'm a week behind i think so um for last week okay so gas gas i had spent wait a minute how much i spent for gas gas i spent forty dollars okay and i have 60 left good thing gas have went down i was surprised that gas went down for the um fourth i was thinking it was going to creep gas back up for the fourth of since the fourth of july weekend but gas actually stayed down i was shocked okay couponing couponing i spent 28 dollars and i had 12 remaining okay let me just make sure i'm in frame and i write my stuff on this right here so i just just go by this after i do my seeking funds um, if you've been watching, or oh, just in case you knew, I just tell you. After I do my seeking funds, I write the balance of my seeking funds here, and then I just keep up with it by writing it up here. It's just easy for me to keep up with it that way. I did not spend nothing in unexpected. I know for sure I didn't spend nothing in unexpected, and I still have seventy dollars. Look at it. I made a mistake already. Look at that. Okay, and I still have seventy dollars remaining. Okay. Okay. Food. I did not spend nothing in food. Okay. Um. I don't know when the program in. Um. I did went up there to um reapply because of the overtime. You know. To see if I was qualified or they was going to cut. They're supposed to have cut me off this month. And I went to see if I could stop them from cutting me off. Don't judge me. Food is high. Okay. And they, I submitted my pay stubs and everything. And they said that they can, they wasn't going to cut me off this month. Because they said, long I'm qualified for something, I'm good. But with all the overtime, actually, I think I would not have qualified for anything. But miscellaneous, I know I didn't spend anything in miscellaneous, so that means I would still have 70. But I know miscellaneous is going to be gone probably next week because I'm going to use that to pretty much um, take my kids out. I have plans to take my kids somewhere if they if 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 they be good. Okay. Okay, so household did I spend anything in household? No, I didn't spend nothing in household. So zero and I still have thirty five dollars. Okay, personal, I spent $30. Ooh, I had fun with the personal. Usually, I don't spend that much in personal. And I end up having $11 left. Okay, so that's all for... Uh, I stayed within budget, as you can see. Oh, uh, That's why I do, like, cat. That's why... I, that's what's great about cash budgeting. Because, like, if I use my card... I couldn't keep track of any of this. And, like, that's the issue that my fiancé has. Like, when he use a car, he literally can't keep track of how much he's spending at all. So, okay. So, now I'm going to write my budget. Basically, my budget for, I guess, the week coming up or this week. Actually, this would be for the budget for this week. Okay. So, I'm writing my budget for this week. 
am behind so i'm going to probably make uh, another video so i can catch up on the weekly check-ins so i won't confuse myself because this right here is week two yeah this is week two so anyway okay gas i end up adding 45 dollars in gas so that made me hit 105 for this week because i added in my seeking fund video i added 45 dollars I've been doing good keeping my gas at a half a tank. That means I haven't been really um, not letting it get below a half a tank. That means I haven't been really going anywhere. Okay. Um, for, because uh, I think I end up for uh, coupon, I think I end up rolling this over. Okay. We're putting it in my little ATM. So, couponing. Just hit forty dollars. I'm thinking about doing like a story time about uh, my previous job and how pretty much they shut down and how they did us as employees. How I learned how seeking funds and budgeting and all that helped me um, during that time. If y'all interested, um, put it in the comment section because it's, I used to work for a loan company and they pretty much didn't listen to their employees and that was their downfall, to be honest. Um, so, unexpected, I just added $5 so they have me at $75. That's why it's kind of hard for me to believe that I end up in so much debt before I pay pay most of my debt off. I only have my student loan and my house, and I got this Gerber um Gerber loan that's not on my credit, but I'm almost finished paying that off. Okay, so then we got food, but yeah, I'm working at a loan company, and even with me working at a loan company, I know about the interest. I know. Okay, so I added ten dollars to this, so that made me at one seventy. I know about the interest. I know about the um loopholes and all of that, and I knew about all of that, and I still got into debt the way I did, and that's crazy. But in my in my area, when the company was still you know open. They charge 299% interest. That's how much interest they charge on a loan. Okay, miscellaneous. Uh, I just added $5 and I had $70, so this makes it $75. That's how much they charge. And do you know a lot of people was okay paying that type of interest? The way people mad, okay, let's give a good example. I'm going to give a good example of how people mad work when it comes to loans, and it's weird. Okay, household, household, I had 35 and I added $10, so they had me at 45 And now, writing it right here, I didn't even write the word up here. Okay, the way it worked, is that somebody could come to the company and ask for a $5,000 loan. We would give them the option with that $5,000 loan that you can pay $825 for 12 months. No, you could pay $825 for 18 months or you could pay $975 for 12 months. Well, most people, all they heard, they don't heard the months. They heard the cheaper payment amount. So they said, I would rather pay the $825 for 18 months than they have to pay $976 for 12 months. So I'm going with the lower payment. That's usually how it goes. So people is willing to pay longer even just for to have a smaller payment. 
we should nobody not even thinking about you paying almost a thousand dollars for 18 months or you paying a thousand dollars almost a thousand dollars for even 12 months because 800 and some dollars is still almost a thousand dollars and all you borrowed was five thousand dollars nobody don't think about it <laughs> okay so i'm personal I um added fifteen dollars, so they're gonna have me at twenty six dollars. But if you want me to do a whole story time about me, cause I worked at a loan place for ten years, I would do a whole story time about that and how the place got shut down and everything. It's a crazy story time. But yeah, so this is my budget for pretty much this week. Like I said, I've been behind, so I will be doing another weekly check-in so I can catch up and then I can be, you know, on the right week. Because right now, I'm behind. So, yeah, I pretty much stayed within budget. Everything is going well. This is the reason why I love cash budgeting. This is the reason why I love my seeking funds and all that. Because when I lost my job, this was a lifesaver. It was the grace of God and this. And if you're not religion, I have nothing against you. You have right to all, whatever religion you're in, but my religion is the Lord. <laughs> but yes, um, it was stuff like this. Sinking funds in the grace of God is what pulled me through because I didn't even get unemployment until after I had another job. So yeah. So anyway, I pretty much stayed within um, budget and everything. And yeah, everything pretty much good. So this is Show My Money Mood. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It's the same thing as my YouTube name, Show Mama Money Moods. And yeah, that's it. Bye.